Hey everybody, Jeroen here, and oh my god, the Dragonfly concept sale just kicked off, and man, it's exciting. Here is a CIG blurb on it, and then we'll take a look at it in detail. The Drake Dragonfly is a perfect snub ship for anyone looking to live on the edge. With nothing separating the pilot from the dangers of space, the Dragonfly is as much an adventure as a ship. Dual mode conversion allows the Dragonfly to operate on the ground or in space, and a rear facing second seat means you can even take a passenger. So CIG has been teasing us with this for a few weeks, and it's everything we've dreamed of and more. It will be capable of short-distance spaceflight, but does not have a quantum drive or a jump drive. So to travel around a solar system, it's going to need a ride on the back of your space truck. It will also not be capable of space-to-planet or planet-to-space flight on its own. So again, you will need your space truck. What it will be super awesome at is pod racing around planetary surfaces. I can't wait to land on planets with my freelancer and ride out on my Dragonfly to speed around exploring. The Dragonfly just went on concept sale Friday, June 17th until Monday, June 27th for $35 for one or $65 for a two-pack. That's $10 off of two. With a two-pack, you get one limited edition yellow jacket skin and one of the stealth black. These will come with lifetime insurance, which you only get during concept sales, a self-land hangar, which you probably already have with whatever starter package you got, a Dragonfly poster, and a Taketsu Dragonfly model. Now a lot of people are going to look at this as a very inexpensive way to get an LTI token for another ship you own or may purchase down the road, and I'm getting one for that purpose too, in addition to my 2-pack, which I'm keeping. There are important things to keep in mind when you're melting ships for store credit, and when you're doing a cross-chassis upgrade, or CCU. When you melt a ship package, you lose everything that came with it and get full store credit to apply to something else. When you CCU to another ship, the new ship gets everything that came with the original package. I think I'm going to do a little video on this separately because it's a little confusing and I just learned this from STL Youngblood myself. So let's take a look at the Dragonfly. As I mentioned, it has limited flight abilities. It is considered similar to a snub ship, like the Merlin or Archimedes, but about half the size and cannot travel between a planet's surface and space because it has an open canopy. The pilot would burn up going down and does not have the ability to lift off the surface to escape the gravity well. It has three configuration modes. Ground mode, to skim over a planet's surface like a Star Wars speeder or pod racer on gravlev plates. It cannot fly above the surface like an atmospheric craft, but this is the most exciting thing for me when procedural planets come out. I cannot wait to go speeding around exploring the surface terrain. Then there's space mode with the outriggers fully extended for parallel mobility and responsiveness. It's going to be fast, though we don't know what the top speed is going to be, and it's going to be crazy maneuverable. Flying this thing through an asteroid belt is going to be amazing, with nothing but a helmet between you and space. It does have two size 1 weapon mounts, but shielding is very light, so it's not really meant for combat, but as a swarm, it could overwhelm a lightly armed freighter. Then there's a compact mode where the outriggers tuck in close to park it inside your space truck. They talk a lot about the Drake family and its pirating ties, and the Caterpillar in development right now. There's an even a bundle where you can get a Caterpillar and the Dragonfly 2-pack with lifetime insurance for $300. Conjecture is that a pirate fleet could have a pack Caterpillar loaded with a dozen or more Dragonflies in cooperation with Cutlasses and Buccaneers. It could swarm a valuable freighter. The size of the Caterpillar could open, and the Dragonfly swarm would speed in and board the freighters. Eventually, the ship is going to be available in 16 colors, and CIG has talked about custom skins, so this would be a great custom ride. Another new game mechanic shown in the Dragonfly brochure is Open Canopy Racing. Never seen before, but this is an extension of the off-forgotten racing part of the game. In the RTB, they confirm that Drake is the first ship manufacturer to come out with these space motorcycles, but other companies will eventually. Man, I can't wait to see what Origin comes out with. It will be so sexy beside my 350R. Again, CIG has exceeded all our expectations and given us a gotta-have little ship if you can afford it. Get it now, and I guarantee it's going to be a blast. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you around the verse.